this means of communication is primitive but effective one moment as we adjust our, our equipment technology this is better greetings we are insectoid species 473 from andromeda 6 in your vocabulary welcome we Thank wish you. to greet you we had sent the prayer this morning the clicking sounds that you heard. This is how we communicate on our planet if we are not using telepathic means. This is our first introduction to the human species as far as speaking to you verbally. We are friendly although many are frightened by our appearance. We do want to apologize to those that we have met in person. Our greetings or protocols may seem a little rough to humans. Hello. We actually bump into one another as we say, say hello and greet one another and this does not harm us because we have a hard exoskeleton. But it does harm humans at times. So forgive us. We were not aware of your fragility. Is there any questions for us? Well, welcome and thank you for um, coming to, uh, to talk with us. And let me just ask, is there anyone in the room that has a question? If you can, please type your name in the chat. Um, it's very good information that uh, the awareness was not there in the initial um, there is someone interaction with humans. Yes, Leela does have a question. Oh, Someone okay. here in this room. The first okay. person in the room go first, and then Leela, you go second. Please keep your mics muted while you're not speaking. Thank you. Was that you that I met a week and a half ago during the night with the group of? We come in astral projection since we are not to be seen by humans or to be on Earth. So yes, that is who we are. Thank you. You are welcome. Who is next? Me. Hi, uh, friend from Andromeda. Uh, I have a, a general question. What are the uh, belief system on your planet uh, re regarding God or something in that matter? interesting you should ask god takes a different form with us than he does with you we he takes a more familiar form in our existence of course every species produces a god that looks similar to them in some way and so our god looks insectoid however his actions are very similar to those of other species. He is divine and gracious, wise, and he has the answers to the questions of life as we know it. He is giving at times, but of course, sometimes vengeful. I see that the thought of your God being vengeful is very 
obvious also from your texts that we have read. But we are learning that he is more gracious than angry. Are you are you helping us the planet? <clears throat> are you helping us in the process of moving on to higher dimension in some way? I think the awareness of our existence helps your species to know that there is something beyond your planet. As far as being helpful, there is little we can do outside of all the things many other species are doing for you. So we are here just as a support system. We are actually not interactive. You find us grotesque and frightening. Therefore, we do not invade your space in your dream world or otherwise unless we know that there will be no ill actions taken or no ill thoughts toward us as a whole. It is interesting uh, about the fear of you because I consider you very cute. I love insects and grasshoppers. I'm completely not afraid. So my question would be, do I have in the past connection with you because I'm not afraid of, of Well, we do not look like your normal insects on your world. We're much larger, of course, and that in itself can be frightening. Facial features are broken up into sections. If you look at your insects, they do have different kinds of expressions that are not human. But yes, you have been in the insectoid realm in some past time for sure. If you are sure, you are not frightened of us. It's actually opposite. I think uh, it, you are very interesting and different, and it is silly to be afraid of any yes. of any form of life. It's just it is you know, a conditioned response from your planet because they have conditioned you to be frightened of beings that look different than yourself. Absolutely. So uh, thank you for uh, your answers, and I am giving back the mic to Shia. Two questions. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, I just want to say that uh, actually in many pictures in ancient times, we see beings look like insectoids in many different ways. Yes. Um, can you tell us about the insectoids the ties with humanity? There was some alliances with other species in those times that were very helpful on your planet and other planets as well. We were instructors. We were hired to be instructors by other species because your planet needed some of the things that we had to offer in our thought processes to continue to survive. Your survival instincts were very shallow at some point. And so more aggression was needed in your personalities to be able to move forward. However, we see that that time is past and that those aggressions will calm down during the age of telepathy which is coming i see and i also know that uh, different alien species sometimes go to different events like uh, nature festivals like the ozora and stuff 
And I know that actually many species from all over the universe actually come to learn about a uh, human's physiology and stuff like that and to observe. Do you think some of you are going to be in the Ozoro Festival? We are everywhere when we need to be. I cannot answer that because if we told you where we will be, then we will be looked for and we do not want that. Okay. Um, also, I know that because of uh, recent events, many different civilizations went back to their home, but sighted are needed and help is needed. So we are welcoming you to come here and do sightings and we will accept you. This group will for sure. There are many things happening on your planet that are considered great events and great events are coming. And so therefore, we are only allowed to be in your realm a very short time. The blue avians will control the traffic in the solar system coming to this planet, Mars, the moon, Saturn, and other places. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. Um, there's a couple questions that you, that are in the chat. One of them is, um, what is your, or how do we call you? What is your name? Is there an English translation for that? Or could One we give moment. you a name? The the translator is not prepared to translate other than human words. One moment. Yes. Your English pronunciation would be Bietsia. Bietsat. No. Bietsia. Bietsiet. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And we're going to try to spell that so that we can uh, keep the record of it. But thank you for sharing that with us. And also from the chat, there's a question um, from Daily Robertson King. And he said um, he wasn't scared when he met a, an, an insectoid being at one time. He just wanted to see um, if he would meet again because he calls to you. He calls to insectoid beings. So we may not answer to that call. Okay. But call the species. One moment as I translate it. Yes. Okay. Sorry, Daily, she's female. The Klimbia. If you call the Klimbia. That is the English pronunciation for our species. Okay. Right. And I and I apologize. I did say that the person asking was a was a man, but it's actually a female. Um, but she said thank you very much for answering your question. She understands who we are. I have scanned her thoughts and she knows that we are of a friendly nature. She feels that we are acquainted in some way. Is this correct? She had said that she has met insectoids and she was not afraid um, and that she would she like to be, have the inter interaction again. Yeah. Most, mostly on the astral she's met you, she says. Is that all? Um, we do have one more question from Christine. Greetings and blessings, Bean. Um, I miss I miss the beans. Are the people that were here on um, Earth, the in Africa, that had that beautiful language? 
that was both the clicks, the whistles, and the humming when they spoke. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing them. Such yes. a beautiful language. They were insectoid beings also. Or had insectoid DNA within them. You are animal person. There is animals around you. Yes. Yes. In my heart too. Yes. I hope we get that language back again because it was it was really an it was very nice. It perhaps will return when they do. That's good to know. Very well. And if, if you have time, we do have one more question from Leela, if that's possible for you. Yes. Okay. Here is the question. What is the percentage of insect toys incarnated at this point on our planet Gaia? There are very few that have volunteered for this project at this time, knowing the consequences and all the things that will be happening in this era. Although it is positive in its outcome, there are many difficult things to be endured. But there are about 1% of the population, which is a good deal of people that are insectoid in nature in some way less than one percent are actually here on the planet as human born aliens there are more that are just here observing i cannot give you the exact number that's fine because they do not want us to reveal that right and that is absolutely logical i am not asking for more do you have contact with insect toys incarnated beings like do, are you helping them are we help doing... whenever we can okay good, if good. it is best to remain neutral that is what we do we do not want to interfere where we are not welcome some people would welcome us and some would not. Some people would welcome help of any kind. Some would not. Are the, are the insect toys incarnated aware about their existence as insect toys and are they connected with you? I am aware of the incarnated and I am in touch with the ones that were human born insectoids that's wonderful it sounds like a great family wonderful thank you you are welcome so i don't know if there's any other questions in the in the group but i don't have any questions in the chat so we will go there is oh, one question oh, here. Question Thank you. Yes. Will I see you again? I would wish to. You will see us again. Okay. Greetings and farewell for now. Well, namaste and much love to you. Thank you for taking the time to interact with us. Um, Do not be afraid of us. We mean you no harm, but we are seen as somewhat dangerous to humans because of some of our rituals and actions. They seem harsh, but they are actually because we are friendly we do touch and sometimes too harshly 
What would be the best way to greet you then if we did meet you? And so to indicate oh. as that we are, first of all, fleshy, and then the second time, but also yes. to give a greeting that indicates we that we are also friendly. We are <laughs> learning your protocols, which cannot relate to us because handshaking and saying hello do not work in the astral and other protocols for introductions have failed some of you will understand who we are because they will be able to see us and that will be the best introduction remember I apologize we do not think the same way as you do but our thought processes can be difficult to decipher once again thank you very much goodbye for today goodbye namaste Chief.